so right. say loud and clear we have a definite assignment we have a very serious work. Hey, how many of you have looked around before? You just look at things happening and it occurred to you, we have work. Yeah. Hey, is there anyone like that? Now, now, let me say this to you. One of, if it has never occurred to you that you, we have work, it's because you have not been enrolled among the soldiers of the last days. Let me climb up. Maybe you are not seeing me well. Don't, don't bring it up. Don't worry. Are you with me? The moment you become enrolled, your body will shift. One of the ways you will know a new area of assignment is that your body will rise in that, in that direction. You, you might be a Christian who the face that you are now is the face of a beneficiary. That's the second children's church. You benefit from the labor of others. Let them pray, fast, cover you, which is good. You will benefit from. And that's why Paul was angry with the question. At the time, you ought to be teachers. You see, at, when we, we look at the timetable of God for your life and for your ministry, what you actually ought to be now is what? A teacher. Because Paul suffered a lot from spiritual babies. He was telling the, is it the Galatians now that they help the house as long as he's a child. Differet him nothing from who? A servant. Though he be lord of all. But he's made subject to tutors and teachers till he comes of age. The moment you begin to grow from just being a Christian who has confessed Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you, you will begin to see the work. You begin to see the work. You begin to see the work. Now, listen to this. The reason why what you are doing will not grow is because you desire a dimension without seeing the work. Once you see the work, your hunger will grow and your body will shift. You cannot enter the fullness of your calling until you have seen the great work that needs to be done. Give me Luke chapter number 10 from verse 1 and 2. Luke 10 from verse 1 and 2. Luke chapter number 10 from verse 1 and 2. Look at it. And after these things, the Lord appointed 70 also and sent them two and two before his face into every city. And let me say this to you. The days... Let me put this in correct perspective. Look up, everybody. The era where pastors raised church members has changed. When the battle is at your gates, everybody who has a hand must be trained to hold the sword. Everybody who has a hand must be trained to hold the sword. The problem you have is that you have concluded in your heart that some cannot fight. And they will not fight. At least not under you. Till God finds another captain that will believe in them. The smallest amongst us must be as mighty as David. Because the battle is fierce now. You see, the Sarah that you left at home, when you go to meet God on the mountain, is the Sarah that will tell you that a guy is fine. Don't grow alone. They will weigh you down. I think I'm speaking to the wrong crowd. The Lord appointed 70 also and sent them two by two. Everyone who sits in church must know how to preach. Everyone. You must know the gospel. You must know how to win souls. You have not been redeemed to be a bench work woman. You have been redeemed to go, therefore, into all nations. It's a calling we all have. You don't need confirmation to do that one. Scripture is clear. Go ye, therefore. 
Send them two and two before his face into every city and every place. Whither himself will come. Verse 2 now. Therefore he said unto them, the harvest is truly great. Listen to this. Any city you step into and do not see the harvest that is great, you will not enter the field. You, 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 you must first see it. Ah, there's work. There's work. There's work. There, once you begin to see the work, God will give the one who has seen the work the requirement to do the work. That is the secret. Oh, there's work. There's work in Abelkuta. There's work in Lagos. There's work in Abuja. The, the, listen to me. The one who sees the work is the one that God will send to the harvest. You, you, you cannot complain that things are not there while you are not seeing the work. There's work. You enter the territory. You see how far the devil has gone. That, that's what pushes contention. Ah, there's work here. Look at the way they are thinking. Look at the way they are reasoning. Look at the way they are doing things. Look how far behind. Why are men not rising? When you understand this, you understand. Traveling ministry is not prestige. Going from nation to nation is not prestige. It is work. It is work. You know, people want some dimensions without wanting the work. You must see the work. Once you see the aspect of the work, that is the aspect of your anointing. You will only see what you have been anointed to solve. You will see it. You will see it. That which you have been anointed to solve, you will see it. You will see it. You will see it. You will see it. It's going to take sleep from your eyes. It will, it will take pleasure from your mind. You will see it. Please sit down for a while. You, you will see it. You will see it. You will see it. If you have not been seeing the harvest, it's because you have, you, have, you have not responded to the voice to be sent. The, the moment you begin to see it, social media for you can't be just another tool for fun. You, you are seeing work. You are seeing work. You are, you are seeing work everywhere. If a doctor enters a place where people are sick and all that, it doesn't matter what the color of their clothes is. He's seeing their conditions. You must see it. Jesus looked around about and said, The harvest is truly great. But laborers are few. Why are they few? Because they've not seen the harvest. Every member must become strong. Every member must become strong. The curriculum for the church, church has changed. Because we are in the last days of the last days. And if Jesus said the laborers are few, we must beat our pruning forks into spears. And these men who have been gardeners will have to rebeat those things and shape it to be spears. Instrument of war. I see work. I see work in Belgium. I see work in Canada. I see work in Australia. I see work in Kano. I see work in Kaduna. I see work in Enugu. I see work, 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 work. You, you cannot partner with the Lord of the harvest if you have not seen the work that is great.